Welcome to MedicoFem YouTube channel. Trypanosoma cruzi passes its life cycle in two hosts. One human. Two vector reduviate bugs, also known as kissing bugs. This video shows the life cycle of Trypanosoma cruzi. T. cruzi can also be transmitted by laboratory accidents, blood transfusion, organ transplantation, vertical transmission from mother to child and rarely by contaminated food or drinks. After entry into the blood, the parasite invades reticuloendothelial cells, macrophage, and tissues like muscles, epithelial cells, nervous tissues. Inside macrophage, there is formation of parasitophorous vacuole. These parasitophorous vacuole fuses with lysosomes. Inside vacuole it transforms into a mastigote form followed by rupture of vacuole and release of amastigote in cell cytosol. Amastigote multiply by binary fission forming a cyst-like mass of growth known as pseudocyst. Many amastigotes within pseudocyst are transformed into modal non-multiplying trypomastigote forms. On rupture of the pseudocyst, Trypomastigotes are liberated to blood. Liberated trypomastigotes are of two types. One slender highly modal forms. Two broader less modal forms. Slender highly modal have elongated nucleus, subterminal kinetoplast and short free flagellum. They are invasive form and migrate to many organs, penetrate cells and continue the life cycle. Broader less modal have oval nucleus, terminal kinetoplast and long free flagellum. They persist in blood and are taken up by insect vector during blood meal. Further development occurs in vector retoviate bugs. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then please share this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our channel.